So let me taste one. I really like this one because look at the little potato chips. Do you see that? Those little potato chips sticking out. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Hey, hi, I'm Amy, Amy Roloff, and guess what? I know you already know the answer to this, but I'm in my little kitchen. And so hopefully I have not forgotten anything. Usually I try and have all the ingredients out and ready to go because, you know the reason I've been doing this is because this is a one woman show, meaning I have only you. I don't have another camera over here or a GoPro over there. One day I hope to get there. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying these videos because I have been having a blast doing them. So I'm in my little kitchen. It's a beautiful sunny Sunday afternoon and I just thought about cookies. Chris and I are going over to friend's house tomorrow and I thought, well, it might be kind of nice just to bring over some cookies. Not that I have to bring over anything, but you know, I kind of feel weird going over to someone else's house, even though I've been invited, even though they said, oh no, don't bring anything, don't bring anything. I usually feel like I need, not need necessarily, but want to bring something over, whether it be cookies or flowers or a bottle of wine or something, because I think it's just very, very nice that someone invites you into their home. And I mean, I love doing it all the time. If I could, I'd be doing it every other day. But anyway, so I'm gonna make some cookies. I'm gonna bring some over to their house. If I have enough here, I might even bring some over to my kid's house. Probably Jeremy and Audrey. Because Zach, well, Tori likes kind of sweets, but Zach really doesn't, even Jackson doesn't. And Lila, she's probably a little bit too young to really get into the cookies and the crunch and all that stuff. So, what kind of cookies am I making? I am making what you would call everything but the kitchen sink. And I know there's a variety of cookies out there, either with that title or monster cookies or whatever. And so I'm really taking a basic uh, chocolate chip cookie dough and just putting in ingredients that I have in my pantry or even um, in the fridge, which isn't much, because only the only thing you need in the fridge is butter and eggs. But anyway, so what am I putting in there? I've got chocolate bars that I'm gonna chunk up here. I've got a little bit of coconut, sweetened coconut. I have about a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar that I've just combined all in here hopefully this won't go over all won't go over won't go all over the place and I don't know I just have really been a fan of um, um, brown sugar and I know obviously there's a lot of things that just call for white sugar but I think this cookie recipe and sometimes other cookie recipes you can you know kind of change it up a little bit when it comes to the sweet. So one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar. And then I even had, instead of adding peanut butter to the cookie dough, I have some peanut butter chips and a little bit of like crunched up, like, you know, those Heath bars? They're kind of like toffee and chocolate and ooh, so good. I've got two eggs over here, softened, uh, two sticks of butter. Oh yeah. and. I have two cups of flour and just slightly over a quarter cup of, in fact, I might even want to add a little more. Just slightly over, um, a th a th I think, a third cup of quick oats. And the reason I use quick oats because they're smaller and I think they cook better in a cookie instead of whole oats. And if I was doing whole oats, I'd toast it up. So anyway, that's what's in here. Oh. Come on now. We gotta have a little bit of potato chips and a little bit of pretzels that I'll be chopping up here. So why don't we get going? Okay, so I've got the soften up butter, but let's get going and let's chop up some of this 
chocolate into bite size or little chunks. And I think I've probably said this before, but I like these kind of chocolate bars for cookies or something that you really want to melt and be creamy. And when you take a bite in the cookie, the chocolate is still soft, but it hasn't like hardened up because it's cooled down. And that's what I find chocolate bars to do. But you know what? If you want to use chocolate chips, you know, the regular bag of chocolate chips, that is okay too. Now I have three bars here, four ounces each. I'm not sure if I need all that, but because of all this other stuff I'm adding, but we're gonna play it by ear. Now, if I was just making oatmeal cookies, I might have put what I would call, um, especially if you want nuts, but some kind of M&M candies, or let's see, M&Ms, uh, maybe a little peanut butter, oatmeal, uh, what else? Uh, maybe some nuts, coconut, uh, let's see. Just gonna chunk these up a little bit more. And then after I do this, I'm gonna uh, just break up a few of the potato chips and kind of get them in the cookie when it's all mixed together. And hopefully, I haven't done potato chips in a long time, but I used to make these cookies a lot back in Michigan. In fact, I have something here that's reminded me of Michigan. Because basically, people make fun of me because I have way too many mugs. Seriously, I really have way too many mugs. But this mug I really like because I got it from the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island in Michigan. So it's kind of reminded me of Michigan. And I hope to go back there this summer. So that would be good. But you know, cookies to me, any time of the year, make them. I always tell people, especially when my kids were young, when they occasionally watch Sesame Street, which is a great program, I was always the cookie monster. I'd always tell them, your mom is like the cookie monster. Okay. I guess this, okay, one bar, two more to go, and then we're going to be chopping up potato chips and pretzels. So one bar down, two more to go. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying it and I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to it. And oh, don't forget to click that little bell up there and you'll be notified of future videos that are new and coming on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for that. And I would really appreciate it if you shared the video and let other people know and encourage them to subscribe and like the videos as well. So anyway, thank you and back to the video. Okay, so I've got all of my chocolate pieces chopped up. And the other thing I was gonna say too, if like I said, if you wanna use chocolate chips, use chocolate chips, they work well. I had a different thought though. What was my thought? I'm not sure. But a lot of the good ingredients mixing into the cookie, just kinda of eyeball it. I mean, I'm hoping to get um, 18 kind of larger size cookies out of this because I wanna make sure that everyone gets a bite of all of these fun things that I'm putting in it. So anyway. I didn't want you to see, but I'll have to be honest with you. I did eat a couple of chocolate pieces <laughs> while I was cutting that up. Okay, I've got the a few chips uh, uh, crunched up in here. And I really use the chips, I really like the chips that have the ridges in it because I think they're a little thicker than some of the other potato chip brands for this recipe. But use any potato chip that you want. And it um, looks like my coffee's done. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna chop up this and then I'm gonna get going on the pretzels and then we can actually get moving on making the cookies. <laughs> mm. Already. 
the sweet of the chocolate mm, and the saltiness of the potato chips, it's working for me. Mm. I really like the stick pretzels, but I also like the little pretzels that look like a pretzel, actually. I'm just going to put a handful here and see what that looks like. And I'm just going to break them up. Because you don't want too big of pieces. And I'll add these towards the end because I still want that crunch. I don't want to break them all up. Or um, crush them all to really tiny pieces that no one knows what's really inside this cookie. But break them up enough. to um, have them peek through or whatever you want to do. Let's just wait and see what happens. Okay. I think I need a little more. I don't know. I just think this is really a fun cookie sometimes. I mean, I love the other cookies like shortbread cookies, thumbprints, snickerdoodles, peanut butter, oatmeal. Um, bar cookies, really like those, but I just really like taking a basic kind of a um, chocolate chip cookie dough and just kind of mixing it up a little bit. And this is great with your kids too. You know, what do you want to put in your cookie? Just kind of helping them be a part of it. Of course, if your kids are too young and you ask them to break up potato chips, I'm sure you will have little itty bitty crumbs. Okay, I think this is about enough. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. I'm gonna start creaming in the butter. Soften butter here, I hope. Like I said before, I don't know. My house must be either too cold or something because room temperature butter, it's not like it's really soft. I almost have to uh, stick it in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to kind of warm it up. Okay, we'll get that cream. Get that going. And we're gonna add in the sugar. Then we'll add in the eggs. gonna get the butter down from the side. I know I keep telling you guys I'm gonna try and get a glass bowl. I just think um, it doesn't uh, get cold as quick. You know the the whole container here. Anyway, let's add in the, the sugar. Pretzel. What's the fun of baking or cooking if you don't do little taste tests? I'm just going to mix up the flour and the oats. So I turned down my mixer a little bit and now I'm going to add in the egg. One at a time, two of them. Let me break up the sugar a little bit. And after that's creamed up a little bit, I'm going to add in the vanilla. Let's not forget vanilla. Scrape down the sides. Because I think if you don't scrape down the sides, the stuff sticks to the side of the, you know, the bowl here and it doesn't get fully incorporated in whatever you're making. So let's whip that up a little bit. Oh yeah, vanilla. Boop. The 
be a teaspoon. And you know what? I don't know why, but I think I'm going to add in a tablespoon. No, you know what? We're going to, let me think. I almost want to add in a tablespoon of milk because I've got so much stuff here. I really want the cookie not to be dried out, but still have the soft, be able to have a soft cookie, but also moist. So I think I might add a tablespoon of milk. Here we go. Just gonna add in just a little bit. I was debating whether to do that or not. Okay, I know you don't think a tablespoon is enough, but, um, or what difference does it make? But I think sometimes the littlest things make the biggest difference. So we're gonna slowly add in the flour. The flour and the oak. Oat. Instant oat. Quick oats. That's what it is. Let's get the terminology right, huh? Okay. Sometimes I think I should have made this in my bigger mixer. Oh, there we go. Okay, again, I'm gonna just scrape down the sides. Make sure everything is um, mixed in. And see, I don't like anything stuck to nothing. This is all good stuff for the cookie, not to be still left on the spoon. Just gonna do a little bit more. Okay. Now I am going to slowly add in the coconut. I think I can do this in the mixer. But for the rest of the stuff, I think I'm going to get a fork. I think I can incorporate that a little bit better with a fork. Okay. See, look at all this goodness. And I debated whether to add nuts to this, but I think with all of the ingredients that I'm having in here, I don't think I really need nuts. Let's say nuts when you all you have is chocolate chips or chocolate uh, bar chunks and cookie dough. Sometimes I think you don't have to have you don't have to have everything but the kitchen sink. So anyway. So like I said, I make sure everything's off of the because I mean so much is left. And if you don't, who knows? You could have had one more cookie you could make. I know Chris probably won't like these because they're cookies and um, chocolate. I don't know, he may. He may like them. Tell you the truth, last time, I, oh, you know what? This is like really, I had three bars of chocolate. You probably only need two. So I'm not sure I'm gonna add all of this. But I'm gonna add in about, half, um, about that much, about one bar less. I'm gonna add in the peanut butter chips and their heat bar chunks. And I'm gonna wait till the very end to add in add in the potato chips, see? Mixing that all up. I don't know, maybe I'll add a little bit more. But I think two bars is enough. Okay. Now I'm gonna add in the pretzels and the potato chips. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. These were fresh chips. But I almost think if you had a bag of chips that have been open for a while and they were a little stale, those might work too, because that way they might hold up better. Okay. I'm 
I'm gonna use this little rubber spatula. See if I can make sure that pretzels and chips, you hear the crunch? Oh, I hope these are gonna be good. I'm gonna get a potato chip and a pretzel in each little thing. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add nuts. I almost think there should be more stuff in here. I'm trying to think of what else I have, but I don't really have candy in my house. I just make cookies and that is my candy. Okay, I'm gonna get my bacon sheet all ready. I forgot to preheat the oven. So um, I'm gonna preheat the oven at 375, get my baking sheet all prepped, and then we'll kind of form our cookie. Okay, I've cleaned up the area a little bit. Put some parchment paper here. And yes, you can use a ice cream scooper. I just like a spoon. I don't need them to be all perfect, but an ice cream scooper or cookie scooper, whatever. We'll add a little bit of consistency. Then we'll just press them down a little bit. And then we're just gonna see how many cookies we can get out of this. I'm hoping 18. I'll be good with 12. There we go. And these don't spread out too much because there's so much stuff in it. That, um, yeah, uh, the cookies won't, but you don't want to put the cookies so close to each other either. But they won't spread out too much. Okay. Well, I got nine on here. Then we're going to get another um Okay, better stick together here. I'm hoping I didn't add too much stuff to the cookies. Okay, there's one down. One more to go. Okay, I've got an oven preheating at 375 degrees, so I'm going to put these in and bake them for, I'm going to say anywhere from 12, a 10 to 12 minute. Check on them then, they may need a little more time, but I really want them like kind of crispy on the outside, but soft in the middle. So I'm going to check them at about 10, 12 minutes. Get my handy dandy or a timer. I think I need another one that's a little bit louder. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, I got my cookies out of the oven and I think they turned out fantastic. So I can't wait to take a bite into one. So this made, cause I made them bigger than just, you know, like a little cookie or whatever. So I have about 21 cookies here. If you made them a little smaller, maybe you'd get 24. I did uh, bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes, and so I think they turned out well. If you want them a little bit softer, maybe just go 10 minutes. So anyway, so I think I have enough, just for a few for Chris and I, because it's not like we need lots of cookies, but I definitely have enough to give away. So I'm gonna take some over to our friend's house tomorrow, Lori and Corey. So these are my cookies with everything but the kitchen sink. So let me taste one. I really like this one because look at the little potato chips. Do you see that? Those little potato chips sticking out. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Okay. I really like this. Mmm. So sorry, I needed another bite. I love cookies. These are so good. Mm. 
So yeah, bake them about 10 minutes. You can find this recipe and all of my other recipes over on my YouTube channel, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, or you can always go to amyroloffslittlekitchen.com to find this recipe and all the others. So from my little kitchen to yours, I hope you have fun baking and cooking and gathering around the table.